Welcome to BBC Podcast. Tapping in with Tucci again. Today, man, we gonna wake up. You're not gonna wake up. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm gonna just hit you with some reality so you have the numbers so you can roll about how you need to roll about. Let's get it. All right, everybody, we back. So, what we need to do before, if all anything, I know it's been a while if I dropped a video for you guys, and since I've given you guys some good knowledge and updates here, uh, we quarter year about so much in the April, and uh, I've been looking at the the comments and everything that the dude's been leaving, and just we just I still don't see no progress, man. We just still hating women, and we just mad for no reasons because you guys ain't getting picked, man. We gonna go over some numbers on why you're not getting picked. So we need to wake up here, man. If you don't like what I'm saying, tell me you don't like what I'm saying. Tell me in the comments, man. You can hit the thumbs down, thumbs up. Let us know so that we vibe and we on the same track here. Let's keep it rolling. And uh, let's go ahead and give a shout-out, man, to uh, Dr. Farty at UVR College down in New Jersey. Did the survey, man, that just turned it in in February that went over all the research between your local stuff. It's going to be Tinder, Bumble, all your regular stuff that you guys are locally Looking on, I mean, if you're looking for the trashy girls, you're probably looking at POF or something like that. Or if you're looking for the long-term stuff and you think that it's going to work out, you're looking at Hinge and eHarmony and stuff like that. All of it works out the same. He got his database from all all four, actually five, of the dating apps. And um, you guys would be surprised, man, that they look into that um, 5% of women are swiping right. Swiping right on all you guys. Why is that? It's because you guys think that you guys get a dating app and you just pay to be looked at, sir, like looked at first, or that you can just be up there harassing chicks like anytime like you want and just be like a creep and you have it unlimited because you paid the twenty nine ninety nine. That's not the way to work, man. It don't work like that. So your profile pictures are off. You're Profile layout, what you like, your hobbies, and all that other stuff, man. Like all that stuff. Man, you corny. All that stuff needs to improve. I haven't seen no improvement whatsoever. Cause out of everybody, all the men that pay or don't pay, you guys, you know, you got the cheap guys out there that you guys are just on there hoping that you can get to give out your little five stars, and then they set you off for twenty hours or whatever it is like that, and they hold you off, and you can't continue to get on there until you either pay or you wait the whole 24 hours again to just try to be a creep to like high likely some robots that aren't even real women. You guys aren't even thinking about that. But um, as everybody, all men want to get with the women, everybody wants to mate, they want to hook up, they liking the pictures and all 53% of men aging 18 to 40. 18 to 40. Yes, there are 28 year olds to 40 out of your second or third relationship, divorce, marriage. And you think you're about to bounce back in the game and get you a nice, hot, young one. And then like, here you are. Only 5% of you guys qualify from 18 to 40. You, big range of men just don't even have their shit together. So 53% of you guys are saying yes and swiping right over and over and over. Look up the stats. Only 47% are saying no because high likely the guys that are saying no, you guys didn't qualify anyway. And you guys are probably quali- dis- disqualifying the ones that are either ethnicity or her weight class or whatever it seems to be like that. You guys aren't even looking for the long-term thing. Most men don't look for long-term once on the dating app. They're looking for short-term. So let's do the numbers here. If a woman is looking for short-term, high likely you either have to qualify with either money status or looks so if you look at this chart here that we have it's showing that even if you're a man that's even having 80 percent of these stats you got looks status and money the chart for women since there's more women on the planet is even more higher to a degree where it goes all the way across to where 80 percent only have access to 20 percent of the women because he doesn't fully have the whole 100%. 100%, let's just set the bar, man. You're looking at, like, Michael B. Jordan, 
looking at Brad Pitt, some maybe for most of you, some of you chicks out there, I mean, you like a Justin Bieber or the skeet guy that Kim Kardashian was with, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But if y'all ain't up there at 100%, you won't have access to all of the women. So even a 20% woman that barely has her stuff together, just kind of rolls out of bed, has the female parts that are just still making you be thirsty, either whether it's feet or genitals that you guys are paying for on the OnlyFans or whatever it is and stuff like that, you damn creeps, that they still have access to 80% men. Because the reason why that is, up to date from right now, that it went all the way from 95 all the way to 2023, only two out of five men actually have reproduced and actually have children. And that's aging from the age from 18 to 32. Actually have children and reproduce and have made it with somebody. So that means that there's high likely that a lot of you guys that, which you guys understand, it's really hard to qualify for a woman for her to lay down with you or even give you time of day. Like that, that's the end game. That's the home run. The first and second base is where you guys are just really messing up at. You guys can't even get to home plate. They're not even giving you a chance to swing. It's because you guys need to get these stats together, man. Like, Money, look, status. It's 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 all over the internet. As much as you guys want to say it's cliche, it really, really matters. And these are the numbers of where it's at. Now, most podcasts are just telling you to just fish out there, man, become that millionaire, get the yacht, Lamborghini, whatever, stuff like this. Man, 90% of the world in the United States ain't ever going to see that. So let's get realistically that the real stuff that's where it's real reachable, where it's real, like, common and high likely that you can reach and actually succeed and get there is going to be the 70 to 150 tax bracket. You can get a lot of nice women there within that range, whether you want to choose you a five or a six and clean her up, add value to her life, teach her some things and, and just provide and become security and be an assertive man to where you can raise her status level up to about an eight or nine. Or you can chase these IG models all you want, man, but they have access to, like I said, the top tier 100% guys that's up here, not down here. So read the chart and look. This is the science that's here for your country, and this is the status that you have. You can be a passport boy if you want, but uh, a lot of you guys stuck on child support and you guys can't get out of the country, don't have the money to get out of the country, and don't have the brains to even make it out there with a cartel kidnapping your ass, and you probably ain't worth shit, so you're they can't even hold you for ransom. You probably end up in a gutter somewhere. So pay attention to the scale, and let's go help you guys real quick. What's well, going to be long-term or short-term? So when it's short-term, what we'll do here for most women looking for men, they did the statistics again, it'll be looks, 35% of the times was always going to qualify you, which means you're going to go to the club, dating app, or if you're good, you got game, it'll be cold approach. She'll actually look there first. So if she's just trying to have fun and she's just got a relationship or she just wants to have the hot girl summer all 2023, 35% of that is going to be your looks. So that means please smell good. Please have on a decent outfit, haircut, line yourself up, teeth brush, everything to the T as swell as you can from top to bottom. That's where it starts. Looks short term. She probably ain't really caring about what you can provide or anything like that. that you can leak towards unless you want to flaunt and leave with your pocket, which is a no, no, but 6% she looking at resources. 30% is where it's going to pretty much is going to be majority of your game. Whether you have, you have to look the part, whether all you guys, man, let's, let's really, really get, Real. A lot of you guys know you're ugly. A lot of you guys do. And, and it's okay because you can make up, men can make up from those different spots. You can put on an outfit that'll make you look a little bit better than it is how you rolled out of bed with the basketball shorts and a t-shirt on. So make sure you have good taste, quality. If you don't you don't have it, man, look online. Look what's, what's newest up to date with trends and fashion. So do the best you can to compensate for what you're lacking, what you're born with. So where you can do that is Still improve with muscle, figure, form. Stand there. Make the T-shirt look good. Make your outfit look good. Be healthy. So haircut, swag, style. And next is going to be 30%. It's going to be your game. So game will pretty much 
if you're not too much eye candy for her, you'll be ear candy. Women love what they hear. Men love what they see. So, men, you have to know how to roll your tongue and get in the right places with the right women. No corny lines, no none of that stuff like that, man. Always be persistent, but have, like, a target and a goal once you open up your mouth to speak to her. Just know what it is. Speak intelligently. Not too much, you don't have to be too serious, not too goofy. Some girls like to laugh, but then if you're too much of a silly guy, she probably won't take you serious. So learn your ways and your charts and shop within your region. Like if you're a guy and you're a six and you're a, you're a seven and your best outfit, watches on, swag, earrings on, whatever it is, best cologne, I would shop in the six to seven range also. You could reach and might be able to catch a girl in her depressed mode but straight out from – off of a breakup, she might be an eight or nine, but if you caught her on a junk night, you might get lucky. But if she's smart enough and she knows she's that much of attractive, she would have never gave you time of day. She's not opening your DM. So let's shop within your range. Let's let's not, I know I want a Kim K, but I really can only get a Betty Dunson. So let's let's stay within the range. Personality, like I said, if you got game, that kind of covers that up. Not to be much more like to where like you're not being yourself, but try to be yourself as much as you can because being your true form is what she'll love to uh, pretty much adapt to, and and it's, it's what she'll you'll gain grounds with. So status, not to be talking too much about who you are and what you can do, but just present it to her as in you might see her in uniform, work where you're at. Um, when she's talking to you and you might telling her well, about your day, what you're doing, you can explain shortly, briefly about what it is you're going to spend your next few hours on, what you normally do Monday through Friday. That'll kind of give her an idea of who you are within your household, within your workspace, who you are. You actually have status. And, of course, short term, high likely you guys already know you guys 18 to 32, man. You guys catch Krugers all the time. So that's high likely you're either going to catch them depressed Drunk on a hot girl summer, or it should be a Kruger. She's already hit the wall, and she already knows she doesn't have any chance with older guys that are successful. So the young guys are banging her back out, so here you are. Lucky night, short term. So age doesn't really matter anyways. And to speed it up, long term, which a lot of you guys, you guys, I don't want to be out in the streets humping all these girls and stuff like that that's already been used by a whole bunch of other guys. I understand it. I get it. So what you want to do is – Vet the girl and court her correctly to where you're finding a nice, good, traditional woman that respects herself. Little bit of experience, not too much, and she's out for a long term also. So at that point, those women, the looks, the percentage actually comes down a little bit. They're not too worried about it because in the long run, they'll grow to love more about you and your qualities that improve your looks. Like who you are as a man, what you can do, what your passion is and stuff like that, that shakes away the looks a little bit and then you won't too much worry about it. But you're her worrying about what your resources are on how you're going to provide security and do all the other good things that that mean something in a long-term relationship. So you're going to hold it down. She never has to worry about bills. She, everything's always going to be paid and she doesn't have to worry about pretty much her lifestyle on where she's going to be in the next 10 years. You provide that. So she'll be looking for that. That raises up to 27%. Then the game, ah, it says here that goes down to 7%, but I still say you still have to be genuine and still have to know how to romance your woman and still keep her interested and uh, compliments and just adjusting to each other's likes and needs and stuff like that and always making sure that you're meeting those points uh, within weeks to a month's time because long-term is long-term. But the way... I say I, to work a long term is we dream of the happily ever after, great hairs and everything all together, but it's one year at a time. Because if you look at it quarterly, each year could have better months than others, but as long as you're 75, 25, hey, it is what it is because life always has bumpy parts. And as long as you guys have good communications where it's based at, you guys have a foundation on what you guys want for yourselves within that circle. And that's what you always go back to when you guys run into problems. This is what we're built on. This is where we started. Always go back to that when you have a bumps in the road. And that's where the foundation starts. That's where it lays. And that's what the, that's what the relationship is about. So it's easier and real real clear to clear up those issues. Like when you actually have problems in your, in your relationship. 
and take accountability. You know, it takes two to mess up a relationship 90% of the time, and it takes two to keep it together. So you, what you want to do is just always communicate and take accountability. Her fault, your fault, meet 50-50, let's change this, change that, and it's always for the better, for the better of the two, not better for the one. And personality goes up to 18% because she has to be with you long term, so she has to be able to just to put up with your sorry ass. Might not be sorry, but the majority of you guys are. And most of you guys become complacent and forget what got you that girl. So you always have to make sure you keep personality up. You always have to be loved and liked because you guys are going to build a family together. And that's what it's, that's the long-term goal is to be. So status also goes in with the resources because you want to be higher ranked in your job, higher ranked in your peers, higher ranked in your family. People look at you to solve problems, build stuff, fix things, stuff like that, become the man of the actual family and, and hold down the resources. So it's kind of harder to do that when you've been at cashier, warehouse guy for about eight years and you should have been warehouse manager or had a new job and a new status because you finished school and you got some type of degree or trade school and you're in a higher status because by the time she runs into the same high school friend that was from five years ago, You've even elevated. And she's like, oh, man, you're still with Roger? Oh, yeah, no, man, Roger runs, runs the actual warehouse now. We take vacations. He's on salary, and that's the way it is. So uh, status does matter in long term to a girl. And Lay raises up a little bit more for age and in long term because high likely if you are the same age as her, you don't have – much more experienced than her unless you joined the military and you went out, you seen the world a little bit and came back. Those are the ones that I say that you probably experienced more at a young age. Or if you're 18 year old and you always hung out with 26, 27 year olds. So that means you have, you've networked with more older men that already have more than you and you high likely they've rubbed off on you well and you want those same goals. So you have also high driven goals outside of your age bracket. So that would give you a little bit more experience. If not, high likely she's looking for somebody within five to seven years older. Sometimes you guys might get lucky and get a girl 10 years younger than you. But within that range is where she would look for because she wants the experience. She wants to save time because she doesn't have too much time. And she's later in her 30s, rolls in the 40s. She already wants to be settled where she's at. She wants that guy. So if she can speed up fast forward and stay way to the finish line for the guy that's already developed and got his stuff together then that's where you losers always lose out and you guys won't make it. So let's just recap. Reality. Only two to five of you guys are ever, will ever even have a family. Just because it's modern day, the way it's going on with social media, you guys have to pay attention the way everything's adjusting. So just keep up with the flow or just don't even bother. Stick to your video games Split the rent with moms or whatever it's going to be and just ride it out. That's that's the way it is. Don't even bother with the girls. Leave them to the rest of the guys that's out there that's actually really trying to better themselves. You make things better and, everything, and the traffic flows better. It's not congested. So always go back to money, status, and looks. If you is where you're going to build it out flat out. You choose whether it's going to be short-term or long-term. Men give the relationships. Women give the sexual relations don't forget that so men are in control of that women are in control of the other if you're trying to gain and go that money status and looks is where you must start one by one knocking those down in charts if you're in your 20s don't worry about these women right now money status and looks takes times months weeks and years to gain those women ain't going nowhere as you get older and you're building it on the web you gotta turn around and look if you're doing it right, they'll be right here pulling on your on your tug, right behind your T-shirt, all day, every day, and you'll have better pickings. Because like you showed you that chart, you want to be, be up at 80%. Because the guys that are down in the 40, 50, 20, slim pickings, man. You'll end up with a chick that's running all over you, calling the shots, or a high, hard background. Or you probably got her when she's already had like six kids, and then what else is left, huh? Just life. Picture low fruit at the bottom of the tree. How easy is that? So, everybody, once again, please like, comment, subscribe, comment whether it's good, comment whether it's bad. You think I'm full of it? 
Let me know. Let's talk it out. If you think it's good, at least let's get it to let's get it to 50 likes. We'll start low. Give me the 50 likes, man. I'll run another video connecting onto this. More details. Give you guys some more tips, man. Get you guys these ladies. Get you guys get you paid. Till then. Dom the Marco Marco Tucci out.